Hey guys, Brandon here, co-founder of Life's Secret Sauce, where we teach young, motivated professionals the skills they need to know to fast track their career, like body language, communication, and storytelling, rather than learning that Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Nothing like a nice breeze to cool you off when you're 2.8 billion miles away from the sun. Now, if Dorothy got swept up in one of those Neptune tornadoes, she might have actually ended up on Oz. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about space. I am here to talk to you about the one, two, threes of networking like a pro. If you've ever seen someone work a room or an event and leave with a pocket full of business cards and a calendar full of lunch and dinner dates and you went, what the, what, how, how the hell did they do that? Well, today we are here to share some of those secrets. Now, it's important to note that proper networking isn't just about getting jobs, but making connections and real relationships that last with like-minded people and people that are in positions where you aspire to be. Now, building a network can be a challenge, but it can also be fun. When you think about networking only as a business affair, then you miss out on opportunities to build connections within your community or your friend group. So, network like the pros, tip number one, stand out. Now, when attending an event, it's important to stand out and be a bit different. This doesn't mean wearing a crazy hat or a lime green suit, but make sure that you're memorable. Now, that could be sharp shoes or a nice watch or a fitted suit with a flashy pocket square or anything else that makes you a little bit different and stand out from the crowd. But if everyone there is wearing shine shoes and nice watches and suits, don't be afraid to be bold. I have a red blazer that I love to wear when I go out all the time. Why? Because it gets noticed and commented. It's a conversation piece. Now, another thing you can do to stand out is to actually nail the first impression and avoid the generic, so what do you do, line of questioning when talking to people. Always start by learning someone's name and remembering it. Ask unrelated questions, learn their goals, their dreams, their aspirations. Don't just talk about work. This will help grow a stronger bond. Think about networking like building a tightrope. Would you rather have one string, work, that connects the two of you, or would you rather have multiple instances of common ground, like work, family, friends, interests, hobbies, that build a much stronger bond between the two of you? Networking tip number two, give value. Just like in high school, there's a hierarchy at a networking event. There may be a few CEOs or a keynote speaker who everyone is bombarding and crowding around that's looking for connections or opportunities or their next big break. Your goal is to change the status quo and think about what you can give the networking community long before asking for anything. By giving first, you'll already stand out from the crowd, show that you're a team player, and let others know that you're ready to work and you're passionate about success. One way to do this, take notes on the interesting bits of information that you collect through the night. Now you've got somewhere to start, so when you follow up with others, you remember some things about them. Another thing to do is make connections for other people. This sets you apart for being a connector. We'll talk about this in just a few minutes. But anyway, say that you're talking to someone and they enjoy eating sushi. Later in the conversation, they tell you that they've got a business trip to San Francisco that's upcoming. When you get home, you can send a quick email follow-up and send them a recommendation for a great new sushi place in San Francisco. Now, the best part about being helpful is that you didn't have to spend any money and you didn't have to go to San Francisco before because there's this pretty awesome thing called the internet, which allows you to give pretty valuable information that's directly related to the conversation that you had with them. This shows that the conversation you had was meaningful and you remembered them and you've followed up the first steps to building and creating a relationship. Networking tip number three, make connections for others. We touched on this last one, but as you grow your network, you'll find that you're able to help in some unlikely scenarios because not only are you growing your own personal network, you may be able to actually make connections for others that you've met. One way to do this is to keep track of some of the people you've met by category or jobs that they do or things that they like. This way, when you meet a new friend, you can cross-reference people that you know and see if there's anyone that you can help to make an introduction for. Not only are you helping them, but you also get to rekindle the relationship with the person you met originally that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while. They'll be flattered that you're making a connection and then they'll feel responsible to help that connection work. And there you go. Now, the most important aspect of following up is following up. If you promise to send someone some information, send it. If you promise an, in an introduction, make it. It only takes a moment to send an email and one introduction can change your or 
someone else's life forever. Remember, stand out, give tons of value, and follow up afterwards to help make connections for others. Become the master connector, and it won't be long before you are the one that people are searching for at the networking event. That's all for today, and if you are ready to master the new rules of communication and learn even more secrets to growing a massive network that works for you, then click on the link below to discover how you can unleash your inner awesome right now. If you learned something new, please let us know your thoughts, comment, please like and share this video. It only takes a second for you, but it literally means the world to us. And of course, click subscribe right down there in the corner so that you never miss another video. Until next time, ciao for now.